This segment of Panther Sports Talk is brought to you by Lincoln Savings Bank. At home in Iowa, at work for you. The UNI Panther football team went out to Washington to take on the Eastern Washington Eagles, a big sky opponent, two teams in the top 10, and Eastern Washington comes away with a 34-30 win. Talking with UNI head football coach Mark Farley. Coach, uh, these three first games to start the season, all of them kind of have that playoff feel as though it should be an end of November, early December football game. Well, they have, and our inconsistent play is what cost us two of them. So uh, it's one of those deals that we have to be prepared for these. We, and we've, we've learned a lot, but we've had to learn it the hard way. Your first true road trip uh, leaving on Friday. Uh, talk about how you thought the guys were prepared. They started the game good with that first offensive drive. Well, I always look at the first road trip, and that really was the first road trip of setting a tone for the rest of the season because that group is segmented off now. So that group is defined and you're on the road for that first Friday night. So we did that, and then I thought we came out well in, in that situation on the road and, play, and played well early. Uh, the second half kickoff return is what got us, and then we kind of were poor in the third quarter and then tried to win it in the fourth. And the UNI Panthers open up a 17-point lead at halftime, and uh, uh, you're right, that first quarter uh, was looking good. A 75-yard drive, Aaron Bailey capped it off with, uh, with a touchdown run, and then uh, the second quarter, a 65-yard drive by the offense to put it in the end zone. Exactly. Well, that, that, was, that was part of it. And, and uh, you know, we just, it's the consistent play. At, at the end of the day, you just need consistency. And I thought in the first half, offensively, we did some good things with and without the win. We were driving the football and making plays. And then the second, particularly the third quarter, we did not make those same plays. And, and that's, it was just a tale of two halves. Uh, in that third quarter going into the wind. How did that affect uh, the passing game? Aaron Bailey, uh, over 100 yards rushing, 179 yards passing, but was that a factor? The wind was a factor. There's no question the wind was a factor, particularly as the game went on. It got windier as the day went on, and by the fourth quarter it was, it was 20, 30 mile an hour wind. So that did play a factor in, in some of the decisions you made, whether to go for it, whether to kick field goals, whether to throw deep balls or short balls, it did affect the game. Offensively, uh, your guys responded in the fourth quarter, able to put together a drive, get a field goal to give you a lead late with less than five minutes to go in the game. Hey, well, we did. Everything played out. It was a long field goal, but honestly, with the wind, it wasn't that bad of a, it wasn't a hard choice to kick it because we probably could have kicked it from the 50-yard line. So it was it was a heavy wind at that time. He just, it was the accuracy is all that mattered. And uh, he hit it nice and, and uh, put us in position to win. Coach, uh, through that whole game, uh, passing-wise, seven different receivers uh, involved in the offense. Do you like where the offense is at after three games? No, not at all. I, I don't like where we're at at all in, in, in the whole thing. Offense, defense, or special teams. There's, it's, it's not to our expectation. It's not to our level of play, and it's not to the level of play it's going to take to win in the MVC. Two weeks to make some uh, adjustments. Uh, you looking at certain positions, or I'm, I'm looking at it, everything will be under scrutiny, will be scrutinized, and it's an opportunity to go into a week and take some, what I would say, immature players. They're just they haven't played college. When I say inexperienced, is probably a better word. Mm -hmm. Inexperienced players that now have some game experience, that now you can really get into a practice and they can understand what you're talking about. And now you can define that role for them that you probably couldn't a couple weeks ago. Now I can take the time to do that. We need to move some people around to get some uh, a depth at some position because of due to injuries. And then we need to get some guys healthy. All right, more coming up with head coach Mark Farley. We'll talk defense and the bye week here on Panther Sports Talk.